I work for the University of Illinois Zoo Pathology Program. I'm a, the director of the program and we provide diagnostic services to uh, Brookfield Zoo, Shedd Aquarium, Lincoln Park Zoo, and a number of marine mammal facilities in the United States and internationally. I, I think you could take examples from other species which aren't held routinely in, in captive facilities that, that are in trouble out in the wild and people really don't care because they have no connection with them and, and those captive facilities are a way for people to, to have that closer connection and thereby care about what, what occurs with those animals in the wild. I, I think it's important for people to make, the, make a connection with, with marine mammals in, in, in the setting of those, um, those captive holding facilities because it, uh, I think it changes, the, it changes the nature of the relationship. It goes from something theoretical to something tangible, something that, that, um, that speaks more to, to uh, especially perhaps children, than, than seeing an seeing a educational film, as it were. Um, I know by reputation um, from the veterinary staff there, uh, from speaking with them and from frequent presentations that I've, I've seen of theirs, um, and then also touring the facilities while, while at, the, at the meeting there, I know that the care there is, is, uh, is very good, um, among the best in the, in the community. I think there are several things that, that could be discussed in insofar as people wanting these animals not to be in captivity. Uh, we are trying to deny some of what is habitually our, our um, species predilection for trying to understand and, and through understanding appreciate some of these other species that we share the planet with and I, I don't know that we would that those, those individual animals and those groups of animals in the wild would be better, any better served um, by us being ignorant of, of their condition and of their medicine and of their diseases and the things that, that uh, we, are, we are gaining from keeping these animals in captivity that are applicable to, to animals in the wild. Should we ever wish to, for example, intervene in a disease outbreak in a free range, one of these one of these free ranging species, without any knowledge of how to treat, what the expression of the disease is, what the efficacy of treatment would be, and these are all things that, that come from our experiences with them in the wild. You would you would be going you would be entering into a into a situation where you're trying to intervene with complete ignorance behind you instead of. A, a, a toolbox full of experience that, that affords you a, a, a cogent way forward.